Madam Danielle Bryan, will please stand for the Pledge to the Flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. CHS owns the M Blood Assurance will be conducting its annual fall blood drive on September 14th. You must be at least 16 years old and weigh at least 110 pounds to donate. You will receive two hours of community service for donating. Please sign up in Miss Fisher's room in the middle school, FL17. Remember, the life you may save may be your own. There is a girls devotion group that meets at 735 every Wednesday morning in Miss Lindsay's room. It is open to any girl that would like to join. You may purchase hat passes in the front office. Please see Ms. Pageant. Passes are $25 for the entire year. All students that have a desire to attend U.S. Military Academy should attend Military Academy Day at Snorval High School on Saturday, September 26 from 10 to noon. Please see Ms. Moyer for more details. Special ACT order study vouchers are here. If you're <laughs> a junior or senior, you can take the ACT for half price on Saturday, October 24th. Get your voucher from Deborah Moyer, Brenda Moss, or Kendra Arnold, so you can sign up by September 18th. No late registrations will be available. The Gordon County Health Department would still like to help protect you still. by still providing flu vaccines in grades 6 through 12. The flu vaccine will help protect against strains that are expected to circulate this year. The flu vaccine clinics will be held September 29th for the middle school and September 30th for the high school. See Nurse Nicholson for more details. And community service opportunities are still available through the Gym Theater, Habitat for Humanity, and the City of Calhoun Recycling Department. See the office for more details. In sports, congratulations to cross country team yesterday as the boys and girls team finished first in the four-way meet. Leading the way with the boys team was David Morello, second overall, and Emily Driscoff, first overall in the girls race. The Lady Jackets defeated North Murray yesterday in four innings by a score of 15-0. Janet Johns was the leading hitter, going four for four with a single, two doubles, a triple, and four RBIs. Ryan Brzezowski was three for four, and Kenzie Lissio was the winning pitcher. The Lady Jackets will play in the Gordon Lee Tournament this weekend. After the football game this Friday night, there will be a fifth quarter hosted by FCA in the CHS Courtyard with live music, free food, fun, and fellowship. Everyone is invited to attend. Oh, and do not forget, the th uh, student section theme is Neon Night, yeah. so be decked out in neon. Neon. <laughs> <laughs> and the birthdays for today are Eglantina Chavez, Joseph Kaufman, Daniel Munguia, and Matthew Pope. Happy birthday! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will uh, we will observe a moment of silence at 8.46 this morning in remembrance of 9-11. We will call it over the intercom. For now, there is a short video about a memorial of September 11th. 